Hi everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Rikako, an armor diver of Ejika. On this YouTube channel, I'm introducing the life and the culture of Japanese sea women, Ama. If you are interested in Ama or Japanese culture and tradition, please subscribe to this channel to check out more videos. All right. So today, I want to answer to a question from Molly Cook who left a comment on another video. I love this so much. This seems like it will be very difficult but lots of fun. Would it be possible to make a video talking about how women become amas and how you personally got into it? Thanks for your question, Molly. Generally speaking, ama has been passed down from generation to generation. So you learn ama from your mother, aunt, or sometime from grandmother. All girls who are born in fishing villages must become ama because in the old days, there were no other job options for those girls. Traditionally, ama is a woman's occupation. There are male divers too, but they were called kaishi and distinguished from female ama divers. To become ama diver, first of all, you have to become a member of the local fishing co-op. But this topic is a little complicated, so let me talk about that next time. All right then, let me explain you how to become an ama. If you are a person who wasn't born in a fishing village but still wants to become ama, there were mainly three ways to become. The first one is to become a member of ame family. So if you are a single woman who aren't married yet, you'll find a man to get married and learn ama from your mother-in-law or his aunt. This is the most simple and easy way to become an ama. I'm one of these people because I get married to our local fisherman here. In my case, I learned ama from my neighbor who is not my family nor relatives. So it was not very traditional way but this is also possible if you are already accepted by the community. The second one is jump into the community and start building up the relationship from zero. This is very challenging since people in the community don't know what kind of person you are. It takes time for the local people to judge you for like a couple of years. Local people want to know your personality because being a member of fishermen and the AMA community is like becoming a family member of them. In local communities like Ijika, people help each other because walking in the sea is very dangerous and sometimes risk one's life. The locals will accept you when they could make sure that you are a reliable, honest and nice person and they like you and they want you to live there forever. The third one is a little bit similar to the second one but you will receive a governmental support. There are some projects to revitalize countryside in Japan and to revitalize fishermen community. Some local governments are recruiting newcomers to join local fishing industry. Potentially, there are some people who dream to become ama. Most of those people like free diving, scuba diving, and spear fishing. So the local government will support them finding a house, introducing the key person of the community, and sometimes even talk to the locals to support the newcomer. This way, locals are ready to welcome a new person. So it's gonna be a bit easier than the second one. And locals also feel relieved to accept a newcomer because at least you've been chosen from officials. When I started becoming AMA, it was 2015 and I was 28 years old. I fell in love with a fisherman and I just quit my work and moved here. To tell you the truth, I have never tried diving nor snorkeling, so I was a pure beginner. So getting into the local community, it was easy for me, but it was very difficult for me to learn diving. On the same day, there were two other young women who moved here to start armor diving. They came here with the governmental project and they were so good at diving. So for them, diving in the sea and catching shellfish wasn't very difficult. But I saw them struggling with getting into the local community and building up new relationship. But since still the girls were working really hard and tried to communicate with local people and gradually the relationship 
with those newcomers and the locals became better and better and they were really accepted. Three of us started AMA on the same day, but our situation was a bit different. So I think you can find your own way to become an AMA. Well, that's it. I hope I could answer to the question well. If you have any other questions, please put them on the comments down below. I'd love to get your feedback and some ideas to make more videos. Alright, thanks for watching. I'll see you in another video soon. Bye!